What is up guys? Adam from IamTheTrend.com back with you for some more t-shirt review goodness. Um, this week as always two t-shirt companies in the house. We have Ruthless Wear and we also have Formatic Clothing which was featured on IamTheTrend.com uh, a couple weeks ago. They were kind enough, kind enough to send us in some shirts to uh, see in person so I have those and uh, we're going to break this down as always the four P's of T's. Packaging, price, printing, and overall presentation. So without further ado, let's get into the good stuff. First up, we have Ruthless Wear, and this is their mailer. There we go, upside down. Um, their mailer that they sent in. Um, pretty cool. It's clear. As you can see, you can see the t-shirt through it. And then uh, other side is just white with a uh, PayPal sticker on there, or United States Postal Service sticker on there. Um, would be cooler, I think. It's, it's cool that they have their logo here, but it'd be sweet if like the design actually faced out. Then again, maybe they didn't do that for fear that people would think it's that awesome and they would steal it and would never make it to my house. So that's always an option. But uh, regardless, um, cool mailer. I'm not sure how much these run, but I'm sure if you did a little bit of Googling, you could find some clear mailers. Um, it's a good alternative to the plain uh, white mailer. So let's see what other packaging treats they have in store before we grade that. Nothing else in here. Um, just thank you for your support. I was on the side, and it feels like there's something else in here. Yeah. Oh, I just stabbed myself with this button. Uh, one inch button with their logo. The bear. Um, some stickers. They actually have a poster of this as well. Um, that's for sale on their website. And then um, the Ruthless sticker. So that's the extras. Um, packaging C+. Plus. It's a little bit above average. Um, I like the clear on the one side. It's cool. It's a good way to showcase your tea and uh, make your packaging a little bit more interesting. So let's get into it. This is the t-shirt that they sent in. This is obviously kind of their logo, what they're going for. Um, printing is very nice. Obviously one color, not that hard to pull off. Um, but you can't feel it at all. It is uh, completely soft, um, which is very nice. Can't feel it whatsoever. Um, no tea tag on the inside. It is printed on American Apparel. I believe it's American Apparel Raspberry. Um, and then the logo on the top back, which I'm never a huge fan of this. To me, it just makes me feel like I'm a walking uh, billboard for the company. It just says their website on the back. Um, I've never seen somebody wear a shirt that has this on here that I was like, oh, now I got to go out and check it out. Ruth is I'm glad they put the website in the back of the shirt. Um, to me, it's just. Uh, a waste of money by the t-shirt company and it just kind of downgrades the entire image of the shirt for me personally that's just the way I think not everyone agrees with that I think obviously that's why it's called an opinion but uh, as far as the printing goes overall it's definitely an A um, you know as simple as this is um, I have seen prints that get messed up or are completely uncomfortable uh, when you run your hand over it so um, A on that Price, they're $18 on American Apparel, so that's fantastic. Um, so that's another A. Um, obviously, they haven't added the T-Tag in there yet, but this is a new brand. You don't always have to start out with everything. Build your brand as uh, as you go along here. Um, if you can't afford to do everything up front, um, pick what's most important to you and what's more, most important to building your brand and uh, go for that first. Otherwise, just save up and uh, unleash the brand when you have everything in place. Uh, either way works, as long as you have a vision and a goal. Overall, um, presentation, it's solid. Um, not, not much really going on here. Uh, very simple logo. Um, I do like the raspberry colored um, American Apparel tea. It's a nice color, something that I haven't seen too much of, which is nice. Um, their website is ruthlesspb.com. If you want to check it out, 18 bucks. They had this shirt in a few different colors as well as a few others. Um, they also have a hoodie on there for 35 bucks. Check the notes. Yes, pullover hoodie, 35 bucks. And uh, their tees range from $17 to $13. I think I said this is 18, but it's 13. Um, if you're in two bears or uh, simple, uh, simple designs, there you go. It's up your alley. Uh, Ruthless PB or Ruthless. Ruth, ruthlesspb.com or ruthlesswear.com gets you both to the same place. Um, so make sure to check those guys out. Uh, nicely done. 
Overall presentation, I give it a solid uh, B to B minus. Um, it's nothing that I would go rush out to get and spend my money on. Um, it's okay. It's decent. It's nothing over the top awesome. Um, it just I like the printing. I like the price. It's just there's so many t-shirt companies out there nowadays. You really have to be doing something special um, to gain that attention or carve out a nice niche for yourself. Um, but overall, I'm not doing anything wrong. So I'm going to give it a solid B to B minus um, above average. All right, moving on to the second company. Um, this is from Formatic Clothing, which I did not know because they didn't put it on the mailer. Tisk tisk. Uh, USPS mailer didn't put on uh, what company it was from, so uh, gotta put on where it's from. What if I was uh, too afraid to open this up? Maybe it's full of anthrax. I don't know. Just put 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 uh put who it comes from. It's always a nice thing. Uh, packaging, USPS mailer, like I said. Um, and then we also have some stickers and uh, a couple samplers here. What is this? Formatic Production Friends and Family 2010 Music Sampler. So there's 18 different tracks from a bunch of bands I have yet to hear. So this is pretty cool. A nice little extra branding um, tool. I take it they're very involved with music, and this is a good way of uh, promoting some bands as well as your as your clothing line. I'm sure some of these some of these bands are uh, reciprocating with uh, promotion for Formatic Clothing. So that's cool. Overall packaging C, it's average. Um, once again, put your clothing name or your company name on the mailer. It doesn't hurt. All right, to the t-shirt at hand. Um, here we go. Killing to stay alive, which I guess sometimes you just got to do. Pretty cool. I like the, the, um, the design. It's very simple yet effective. Um, not as soft as the last tee from Ruth, from Ruthless. Um, I think this could have worked well with like a discharge ink where you couldn't feel it at all. Uh, but it's not bad. I think after one wash, it would be solid. Um, overall printing looks pretty good. There's a few spots on here that look a little bit um, suspect where it's a little bit heavier in areas and lighter in others. But overall at first glance or when you're just glancing at it, it looks pretty solid. So once again, this is Formatic Clothing. Uh, this t-shirt is $20, printed on American Apparel. Um, once again, no t-shirt tag on the inside, um, you know, which is a nice, it's a nice bonus, but if you don't have it, it's not gonna make or break you. Um, <clears throat> something that I was really impressed with about uh, Formatic Clothing was their overall brand image on their website. They take some really nice photos, they showcase their tees very well, um, which is always something that's, it's nice. Sorry about my phone, uh, which is something nice that you can definitely do to help uh, build that kind of image for your customers. Uh, so make sure to check out formaticclothing.com to see those photos are very cool. I'm probably showing you some right now. Um, but yeah, New Jersey based clothing line, $20, $20 for most of their t-shirts. Uh, once again, nothing too spectacular, but overall a solid design, something that I think I would wear. Um, a little bit more than the bear. It's just my style. Um, I think this would be a little bit more solid on maybe like a Heather, a Heather T, maybe Heather Gray or uh, uh, like a Heather Black T or charcoal. I just think it would spice it up just a little bit with some discharge ink, but uh, overall pretty cool. Um, price, as I said, was 20 bucks. That's an A for an American Apparel. That's good. Um, printing on solid B plus. Like I said, discharge ink would probably be a little bit, a uh, little bit better on a design like this, uh, but this works well, and I'm sure it'll soften up quite a bit after one print or one wash. I'm sorry. An overall presentation would be once again above average, um, to average. Uh, just, you know, with all these clothing lines coming out, like I said before, you know, you got to do something that really stands out and it's different. Um, I've seen this kind of style over, you know, several different t-shirt companies. Um, not to say that's bad, but. Uh, it's just trying to stand out and do something different is the key or filling a niche, like I said, um, I think really gets people going a long way. Like the most successful clothing brands that you see out there are brands that really have um, something different 
or um, a niche that they carved out for themselves. So make sure to keep that in mind when um, starting a clothing brand or developing a clothing brand. Um, because I think that, once again, goes a long way. So that's it for uh, what we have tonight. Thank you very much to Ruthless Wear, RuthlessWear.com or RuthlessPB.com. They both go to the same place. Um, FormaticClothing.com. Make sure to check out their website. They have some really nice uh, product shots uh, that tell a nice branding story. And uh, I'm Adam from I'mTheTrend.com. As always, make sure to please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos. And uh, check out I'mTheTrend.com. Follow us on Twitter.com slash I'mTheTrend, Facebook.com slash I'mTheTrend. And I am Adam from I Am The Trend, and stay shirty.